When working with alterations, we tend to hop from one job to another. Because of this, we have to change our threads quite frequently. This is a common practice that we're going to do, but the technique we use is very important, especially when using a serger or a cover stitch machine. The reason this is, is because there are multiple threads and it's very complicated to thread should they come apart. So we're going to demonstrate how we're going to do this so we can pull all our threads through quickly. You can use this technique whether you have a domestic machine or an industrial machine. The most important part of this is tying or not. There is no right or wrong way to tie or not. I just take my two threads here and I'm going to wrap them around my two fingers, pull it through, and then I have a knot. Whether you tie your knot that way or have a different technique, the main thing I want to always do is check to make sure the knot is secured. When you're pulling your threads through the machine, if a knot comes undone, you may end up having to re-thread your machine and that can set you back in a day anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour. Okay. So now I'm going to take my next thread. You can see how it can get complicated with a serger because you have multiple threads. Tie or knot. Make sure the knot's secure. Now, for this demonstration, of course, I'm using three different colors, so you can see more clearly. This is actually my needle thread now. I'm going to tie it. And once I'm happy with my knots, we are going to lift up the presser foot. I usually turn my wheel one complete rotation just to kind of loosen the strings. Take the tensions knobs and loosen those up. That allows us to freely pull the strings through and you can see the strings being pulled through. If you have any resistance, do not yank on the strings. Take a second to determine where there might be resistance, it might be twisted at some point. Release that. You do not want to have those stitches broken and then you're re-threading your machine once again. For the needle, I just take my needle thread. Most of the times the knot will not pull through the, the original uh, needle hole. Once that is all pulled through, we can re-thread our needle. With the needle re-threaded, tuck your, we're going to tuck our threads underneath the presser foot, put all our tensions back to where they were, presser foot back down, and now we're ready to sew with the new threads. Keep in mind that whether, like I said, whether it's a cover stitch, whether it's industrial or domestic, we're going to use the same technique to pull threads through so that when we change colors, we don't have to necessarily re-thread the entire machine.